Yes, great combo. He's six foot six, 300 pounds, and he's incredibly strong. On paper, that reads like all the physical attributes of a future college offensive lineman. But there are intangibles that set number 75 Bryce Bray apart. Don't like to brag, but like <laughs> whenever I was younger, I used to work on my feet all the time. So I think I got pretty quick feet. Would it be accurate to say he's got a bit of a mean streak out there just from watching the way he was finishing blocks? Sometimes, sometimes the more of a mean streak he has, the better off we'll be. It came on a little bit my sophomore year. I was still a little timid just because I was a younger guy. And then last year it really came out because I knew the offense. I knew what I had to do. So, yeah, I'd have to say I've got a pretty mean streak out there now. And this is the perfect time for Bray to be playing at his best because for the first time in three years, there's a new quarterback under center. Run's always open. He always gives me plenty of time back there with, I mean, Josh Owens, Isaiah Lakin, and all those guys up front. Those guys are definitely help me out a lot, make my job a lot easier. Aside from getting the gold ball, I mean, what do, what do you hope to possibly accomplish this year? Uh, I mean, we love to go undefeated. Um, be jinx. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, an undefeated season is a particularly tall order, let alone just winning another state championship. But needless to say, the expectations are very high yet again for the Bixby Spartans in 2017. Reporting at Bixby High School, I'm John Laws for Tulsa's Channel 8 Sports.